Our main job was foot patrolling. If we were told through intelligence there were enemy in a certain area, we'd have to go up and, and check that out. I enjoyed every day of it, I honestly did. It was great. It was just a, a routine foot patrol, a, a show of presence more than anything. As I went to get into my fire position, it's when I stood on the mine. I honestly didn't have a clue what had happened until the, the smoke had cleared. I, I didn't feel any, any pain, it was just a numb feeling. I remember feeling really angry with myself, sort of like I let the lads down, you know? So, I don't know, strange, but... I thought I was still stood up. I, uh, I realised I wasn't, I was sat down and I'd lost both my legs and my arm. I woke up in intensive care with my parents and my fiancé around me. I had planned when I was in Afghanistan to ask Becky to marry me when we got back. When I came round in ITU, she came over and, and I just thought, you might as well ask her now, Mark, is she gonna be yes or no? She put it down to the morphine at the time, but it was nothing to do with that. So we're gonna get married next April, hopefully, in Plymouth. Now it's happened now, and it? Life goes on. Just got to uh, carry on with my rehab and move forward. If you sit down feeling sorry for yourself, you're not really going to achieve much. You get out of it what you put into it. If you want to push on and you want to you want to get better, then you will as long as you've got the determination to do it. It's a lot, lot about technique. When I was walking out, a lot of the time the as the leg came through from the rear, it was stiff and straight, and a lot of time, sometimes the knee bent and, and it kicks forward as it bends. That's, that's the correct technique that I haven't quite got it uh, perfect yet, but I'm getting there. I think when we've sorted out that suction on the socket, that'll um, improve. They've had to retrain me to a completely different technique on how to, how to use the limbs. So I'm, I'm just about there now, I've just about cracked it, but it's very, very hard work. The future, hopefully continue my career in the Marines, albeit in, a, in an administrative role. Getting married, moving into the house with Becky, and getting back to a bit of normality and, and becoming more independent once I'm up and walking again. Leading a happy life.